The fprintf function allows us to have much greater control over the output than just using the display function. The general form of the fprintf function is the following. Inside these parentheses, we have single quotes, and inside the single quotes, we have some text if we choose to put that in there, and some formatting commands if we choose to put that in there. Then a comma, and then we list the variables and arrays that we want to display on the screen. So for example, we say score is 95.4. Inside the single quotes, we have your score is, and then we come to a percent sign. When we come to a percent sign, we look over to the right and see what variable uh, or array is listed on the right. In this case, it's score, which has the value of 95.4. That gets inserted where this percent sign uh, is located. And this is why the percent sign is called a placeholder. It holds the place of the value uh, of the variable on the right side. And what's displayed on the screen is your score is 95.4. There are many different types of formatting commands. Percent %f is for floating point or decimal numbers. Percent %e is for scientific notation. Percent %g is similar to percent %f and percent %e, but there are no trailing zeros as we saw in the previous example. Percent %i is for integer, percent %c for single character, and percent %s for a character string. You can print off many different types of data with different formats in the same fprintf function. So for example, we say child is 9, score is 78.5. Then we call up our fprintf function. Percent %i, so we come to the first percent, that will be associated with the first item in this list, in this case, child. So the value of child 9 will be put here where this percent %i is located. So 9 children received, and then we come to our second percent, score. Score is the second item in this list, so it gets associated with this second percent sign. And because we say it's percent %f, it will be printed off uh, with a decimal, 98.50000. If we want to get rid of those zeros, we can use percent %g. If we want to express 78.5 in scientific notation, we can do so with a percent %e. You can have even greater control over the precision of the output displayed on the screen. So instead of saying percent %f, you could say percent %x dot y where x and y are just integers. x is the total number of spaces that you are going to allow or allocate for displaying the value. y is the total amount of digits to the right of the decimal place that you're going to allocate. And keep in mind when you're using this x point y f um, type of formatting, the decimal place will receive one space as well. For scientific notation, we also use the x point y e type of uh, format, or we can if we choose to use it. For integers, single characters, and strings of characters, though, there are no decimals, so we omit the point y. So let's see some examples. We have one example here where we say score is 90 or 89.4. We say Inside fprintf, score is 7.2f. So at this percent sign, we will insert the value of score, which is 89.4. But now we're going to display it with this format, this 7.2f format. So in the line below here, I put an underscore underneath the space that is uh, displayed on the screen. Okay, so or a space that each character is allocated. So S, C, O, R, E each gets a space on the screen when it's printed out. Then there's a space between score and is right here. Then is gets two spaces. Then there's another space here between is and the number. Then when we come to the percent sign and, and the value of score, we're going to allocate seven total spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two of those spaces are going to be for di digits to the right of the decimal place, 4 and 0. One, uh, the decimal place gets one of those seven 
spaces that are allocated for this number, that leaves us four spaces left. Eight and nine take up two of those spaces, so we will be left with two blank spaces. And we end with an exclamation point. There are other useful formatting commands as well. We have slash n for new line, slash t for tab, and slash b for backspace. These commands also are pla uh, placed inside the fprintf statement inside the single quotations. So let's see an example. Hello everyone, slash n, how are you? Hello everyone is printed to the screen. When it reaches slash n, we go down to the new next line, and how are you is displayed. So now we'll go over a couple, couple of very simple examples. We have a is equal to 54.5, b is equal to 90.1, and we'll just f print f. a is percent f. What's percent f? That's associated with a. So the value of a will be displayed uh, after a is. Then comma b is percent f. This, percent, this is the second percent sign we've run into, so this will be associated with the second variable in the list, or b. So let's see what happens when we run this code. We see that a is 54.5, b is 90.1. If we want to get rid of these annoying trailing zeros, we can do so. Let's just do it for b only. And you can see those zeros are gone. If you want to express B using scientific notation, you can. And it would look like that. If we want to print A is its value and B is its value on separate lines, we can use slash N in this way. Just insert a slash N here. And we can insert lots of slash Ns if we like. So let's clean this up a little bit. And let's put some formatting in. So we'll say A is 6.2F, B is, let's get rid of E, we'll use F this time again. And we'll say 10.1F. Let's run the code and see what happens. Okay. So we see that A is, we can say A is, and there's some extra space. Now why is there extra space? Well, we gave six spaces for displaying 54.5. We only needed, uh, we really only needed uh, we needed less than that if we wanted to, to, to not have a, such a big space here. So let's see how the space was allocated. We have six spaces total. Two are right of the decimal place. The decimal place gets one. 54 gets two, so two plus one plus two is five. We have one extra space here. Let's go see what happens when we get to B. So we say slash N next line. Then we have one space, and so there's one space here in front of B, then is space, and then we have a lot of space allocated for B. We gave 10 spaces here, one to the right of the decimal place. So we have one, then the decimal place is one, so that's two total. Then zero, 09 take up two more, that's four total. So we have six extra spaces here that aren't doing much good. We also can mix different types of data in the same fprintf, so we'll say c is equal to 34. And we will print c here, and let's add some more text inside of the single quotes here. So c is percent, we'll say 4i. We run the code. Oh, let me put a slash n at the end because I forgot to say go to, to a new line when you're done executing. So that's why this octave is right next to this 34. So here we say c is, and then there's a space, 
And then we give four spaces for the third variable in the list, which is C. So we have three, four, and then there's two blank spaces right here next to it because we don't need all four spaces. In the next lesson, we'll discuss how to use arrays with fprintf.